presented by your local Ford stores in Meredith. Can't wait to see what's in store between these two teams tonight and also what the lineup looks like because it's really been in flux lately. So what's going on there? Bob, new day, new lineup for the Lan Yankees. You've managed. You've mentioned that it has been in flux lately. It seems like Aaron Boone has had to get creative this whole season long. Tonight, you're going to see Joey Gallo, DH. Aaron Boone said he's been wanting to get him a DH day for a while. He's played 11 straight in the field since being acquired from Texas. Also, Aaron Judge is in right field. Boone said he could potentially see him DHing tomorrow to get him off his feet a little bit. And John Carlos Stanton is back out in the outfield playing left field. It'll be the fifth start for Stanton in the outfield this season. It just gives Aaron Boone another option, some more versatility there with that DH spot. He's able to rotate guys around a little bit. John Carlos Stanton has said that he has felt comfortable out there. Aaron Boone has been pleased with what he's seen from Stanton so far, so there's no reason to believe that he's not going to continue to do that at times throughout the rest of the season. Now with a lefty on the mound for Kansas City, Tyler Wade and Brett Gardner are out. You're going to see Rube Ned Odor at third base and Jonathan Davis in center field. As you mentioned, Nestor Cortez gets the ball for the Yankees tonight. It'll be his fifth start. In his previous four, he has pitched extremely well, pitching to a two ERA, opposing batters hitting just 190 against him. I asked Aaron Boone if he was all surprised with how seamlessly Cortez has slid into the rotation. I don't want to say surprised because, you know, Nestor, Nestor is always i feel like surpassed our expectations or so nothing he does anymore surprises me and and i think the biggest thing with nestor for as as well as he did for us um you know in, in 2019 and in, in filling these different roles I, I feel like he's even a much better pitcher now um just delivery command um which has allowed him to obviously continue to get better and better and you know i think we think of him as this crafty old veteran sometimes this is a young man that um you know is is a really good pitcher and has has been very valuable for us in a number of roles from your vantage point what's different about his delivery and and how does that essentially help him yeah i think he's just more in control of it uh able to repeat it a little more obviously he still does some things that are unique and um you know a one-off here where where he'll change up the delivery to try, try and create a little more deception but i think he just owns his delivery more which lends himself to really be able to command the baseball at, at a high level which you know ultimately if you're going to be a really good pitcher in the major leagues you better you better be able to command the baseball and he, and he does that well with cole and montgomery their 10 days on the COVID il are almost up will they come off that <laughs> when the 10 days are up or will they need more time um yeah so there's we could see them this week they'll probably rejoin us on the road um and hopefully throw a bullpen at some point this weekend um and then we'll we'll kind of evaluate along with them where they are and and you know as as far as when we insert them back in um you know i have some ideas in my mind and, and I've talked spoken with them a little bit about it but you know first things first is they're both doing well they've both been able to throw with one another and 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 work out and things like that so they're doing well but you know let's get a bullpen under under their belt see where they are and and then decide when we want to insert